The product in this package makes me over £100 a day in net profit. For the mathematicians out there, that's close to £3,000 a month, that's $4,000 for you Americans, and just a little bit higher than the average wage in the UK for a full-time job. I spent maybe two hours a day on this brand, and those numbers were achieved in its very first month. In this video, let me break down exactly how I found the product, why I decided to run with it, how I got it made, where did I find the suppliers, how did I find those, and then how did I go about launching it, and we're gonna talk about the success and the failures of its first month. I'm gonna tell you the problems I faced, what to do if you face the same problems, and then how we came out the other side with a four, well, 3,000 pound, 4,000 dollar a month income. So before we jump onto the whiteboard, I wanna tell you about how I came across this product. It really is as simple as it gets, right? So I was scrolling through TikTok, and this, this organic TikTok came up just as on my For You page, I'm scrolling through and I'm like, oh my God, it was an American company. This this American TikTok came up and it's one of those where it's an emotional one. It hits you right 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 in there, you know. And I just thought, what a flipping fantastic idea for an econ product. Why didn't I think of this first? And then I realized, wait, this is an American brand. I wonder if anything exists like this in the UK market. So I did my research, right? And I was like, oh my goodness, it doesn't exist. And uh, I'll show you how I did that in a moment on the whiteboard. But my God, I was excited. And uh, from that point onwards, I decided I'm doing it literally within the first day. Um, I had everything set up. I'd already looked at suppliers. I'd already calculated my margins and it was good to go. Within 24 hours of finding this TikTok, I'd found suppliers, I'd calculated my margins. I decided on a brand name, right? I was so, so shocked that nobody had done this in the UK yet and I was very excited to be the first to market. Let's jump onto the laptop. I'm gonna show you what I did when I had this idea and how I found the suppliers and how I got it all, all up and running within 36 days. 36 days then from having the idea to launching the ads. Now, I chose this product because it had a very strong emotional appeal, so much so that it hit me and I know an ad when I see one, but that was an organic video and I didn't really clock it was an ad until, you know, it already hit me in the feels. So I knew it was, I knew it was the right product for me and it had very high perceived value. The problem with it, well, which is also a good thing, is that it's not just a physical product. There is also a software side to it, a technical side, a digital side that people can access um, remotely and obviously no dropshipper is going to be able to do that you need a custom branded product you need your own software etc etc luckily it's very simple and it doesn't require a lot of development costs or time or anything like that the reason it's a good thing as well is because most people I'm talking like 99.9% .9 of people that are in e-commerce won't bother with doing this product because it's just extra effort they don't need to do if they can find a tr uh, product in China ready to ship I chose to go with this product because I fully believe there is a huge opportunity for a big exit to a big company later down the line, maybe five years down the line. Quick little interjection from me. I forgot to tell you quickly how to find out if somebody is running ads for that product in your region. So you can come here to the Facebook ad library, now called the Meta Ad Library. It's facebook.com slash ad slash library. You can just Google Facebook ad library. And this is a library of every single ad that's currently on the internet on Meta platforms. That means Facebook ads and Instagram ads. It's crazy. You can literally see anyone's ads. So to do that, click all and click, you know, the region you want to search for. I want to search for the United Kingdom and I want to go for all of the ads and I want to search for the keyword. So if I wanted to sell a bam bamboo toothbrush and I thought I might be the first in the UK, I can give it a search and see there's 34 active ads in the UK. And that's actually not many. Um, you know, hundreds of ads would be a lot of ads, but the UK is a smaller market, but 34 ads is still not a lot. Cool. And then you can get an idea of what ads they're running. There's some static picture ads there's some video ads there's a carousel ad and you can kind of just it seems like it's dominated by this one company here and basically use facebook ads library to find out what ads are being run for a certain product for example if you wanted to check a competitor's ads you just type in their brand name here and it will bring up all of the ads they're currently running and as i can see this is a supplements company mushroom supplements which is quite a popular niche at the moment um, you can see all of the ads they're running you can see just this advertiser alone are running hundreds of ads uh, let alone if you were to type in mushroom supplements, which would probably be thousands. So there you go. Use Meta Ad Library to get an idea of what is currently being advertised in your region that you want to attack, whether it's US, UK, Europe, whatever, um, and get an, a little bit of inspiration for what your ads might want to look like. 
So without further ado, how did I get this product set up in such little time? And if you've found a product that you wanna do, how do you do the same? From the time that I had the idea, the first port of call was to get the physical product made. So remember there's two sides, there's the physical product and there's the technical software. Let's focus on the product first, because I knew that was gonna have to be made in China and that was gonna have the longest delivery time because it's you know being made so far away. Very simply, I came over to alibaba.com. Now this is a place where you can find suppliers based in China for literally anything. This product in particular, I had deduced from the competitor's ads that it was made out of a certain type of metal. So I went on and I typed in, you know, the name of the metal, I was like metal manufacturer, right? And then what I did is I scrolled through a bunch and um, obviously this is gonna look nothing like the product you wanna create because these are just pre-made items. Uh, and I would literally click chat now on all of these. And as you can see, I'm logged in. I got about 79 messages unread because they follow up relentlessly. Now, um, anyway, you wanna be looking at these people with the m plenty of years of experience and five star reviews. Literally chat now, chat now, chat now. And it will bring up this live chat here, which I can't show you because then you'll see my actual suppliers. Where you can live chat with them. They're usually super responsive and you can go ahead and say, hey, look, I have this product. Here's a picture of it. You can, you can send competitor pictures. I want to change it in X, Y, and Z way. I want it to be this big and made out of this material. Can you do it? If they say yes, amazing, get a price and do the same with loads of others. If they say no, ask them for a recommendation. Do they know anyone in China that can produce such a thing? And that is exactly how I built this business. Second part of the physical product is the packaging box. So the packaging box, meaning literally the box that comes in, the box that is in this package right here, um, you would just scroll through. All these people are fantastic. Um, like you, uh, mine is something like this. Um, and you would literally just look for people that they can make packaging boxes where um, it slides out, they can make it where it's like a magnetic open at the top like this. Whatever you need, you again click chat now and again look how cheap this is, right? Bear in mind, minimum order quantity, you know, you don't want to be spending too much. I think packaging was our biggest expense. Because it's custom, they need to create a whole new run on their, on their machines. Um, they need you to buy enough pieces. So I think, I think we got 500. We got 500 units to start with of this product and packaging boxes as well. So by this point, I'd found a supplier for the metal. I've got it ordered in the exact specifications that I need. And then I'd also ordered the packaging from China as well. So both of those things were in production and they were gonna be on their way from China very shortly. I think it took about two weeks to make and two weeks to ship. So a total of one month lead time. The next thing we needed was the software and we had to hire a developer for that. I just needed somebody to create a web app and I went on Notion or you can use Google Docs or Microsoft Word and write out a very clear brief um, of every single feature that you need. Now I started off very, very basic and I basically said, I need it to do this, this and this. It needs to obviously have a login page, sign up page and you literally just have to list everything on Word. They will then give you a quote. I had quotes, I think anywhere from $500 to $5,000. Um, I went somewhere in the, in, I want to say in between, no, it was about 600 pounds. So what's that, $1,000, maybe a bit less um, because uh, the English was fantastic. And that was a key point for me is that I knew from the phone call that I had with them, I say phone call, I mean Zoom call, um, Zoom meeting that I had with them, that they were fully on board with the idea. They understood why we were making it and what it was for. And they weren't just trying to say, yes, yes, sir, yes, we'll just make it because you know everyone in those countries is gonna to wanna to get the job, right? Because it's a decent chunk of money. I just wanted somebody that understood it fully rather than was just trying to get the sale. The way I found that was simply on fiverr.com and I typed in a web app developer. Very, very simple. I'm not gonna open the tab because it's got all of my recent gigs on there and UGC creators and the developer I used and I don't wanna obviously dox all that information, but you get the gist, right? You literally go on the site, you type it in in the search box. It literally could not be simpler. So all in then, we were probably in for about 2,500 pounds. So. This is a real business, right? It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not, you know, uh, drop shipping. This is a real brand. So if you are gonna go down the branded route, you're gonna need some money to play with. That's just the way it goes. Anyway, 30 days in, the product arrives and our next port of call is to get the content. So we need to be taking the product photos. We need to be taking the videos that we need for the ads. And then I would get to work after we got that on CapCut and Canva. So CapCut is a video editor. It's made by, it's owned by TikTok, I think, or something like that, the parent company. So uh, you can make TikTok organic style videos, which also worked for us as Facebook ads. And by that, I literally mean using, putting your clips into CapCut, the video editor, adding some nice music, adding some captions about what the, what the product's features are and the benefits and what have you. Um, and that's it. 
For Canva, what we did is we took the product images, we used Canva Pro and we clicked remove background and that created a nice white background product image. And that was it really. I used that content to launch the ads. I went on Facebook, I literally uploaded them, set a budget of 80 pounds a day and we were good to go. This is definitely the most stressful time as an e-com owner is when you hit that publish button on those ads because you don't know whether all that money is going down the drain or it's gonna be a massive success. In this case, the money went down the drain and I'm gonna show you what happened. So these are the first four days, right? So we, we were averaging about 70 pounds a day in sales but um, we were spending 80 pounds a day on ads. And after the product costs and all the other costs, um, the net loss was about 25 pounds a day that we were losing, so we were not profitable. As you can see, the conversion rate was painfully low at a 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.4% conversion rate. And by that, it means, you know, the amount of, for every 100 people, on the website, not even one was converting. So a 1% conversion rate would mean out of 100 people on the website, one would buy. We were getting less than one person every 100 visitors, which is really, really bad. You wanna be having your conversion rate like three, 4%. That's like it considered a good range. So it was clear we were getting people onto the website, but nobody was buying the product. So it was the website that was the problem. From there, I decided the product page wasn't good enough. So I went ahead and I built a whole custom landing page using a Shopify app called Gem Pages. You can use PageFly, Gem Pages. Uh, I think there's another one as well, but no matter what you use, you can uh, search on YouTube for like Shopify best landing page structure. And there's tons of videos on that on YouTube. I might make one as well, but to be honest, I just use those videos when I'm teaching myself these kinds of skills. Um, I'm no different to you guys I literally just look on YouTube and say right this is what I want to learn today from there obviously turn all the ads off when this happened uh, whilst I was redeveloping the website and we were back to zero which was uh, very very sad and then we switched the ads back on same budget 80 pounds a day and suddenly that 80 pounds a day was turning into 200 300 200 and the conversion rate was three four six times higher than it was on the previous days. So I was so thankful for this because I knew the product was a winner. And if I had seen the first four days performance and thought, oh, we're unprofitable, let's kill it and move on to the next product. That's what most people do, right? And, and I don't blame you because if you're losing money on a product, the logical thing is, is to cancel it. But you have to think about all of the metrics involved, not just the ad side, but the website as well, because um, I'm obviously not the best website designer because of how shocking that conversion rate was. I knew that was the problem I had to fix. So at this point, we're making about 90 pounds a day, which is pretty cool. Uh, that was midway through the month. By the end of the month, the final week of the month, it was really consistent every single day, you know, 1% conversion rate, which is actually quite bad, but it was still very profitable for us because the product margin is so high. So there's still plenty of work to be done from there. And that's exactly what I did do because this was back in January. I just haven't, you know, recorded a video on it. So I thought, let me do this first before I share a video on the current progress of the brand because we're now seven months after this. Um, yeah, so we were doing about 300 pounds a day in revenue very consistently. We were spending about 120 pounds a day and the average profit was 100 pounds a day. So from there, making 3,000 pounds a month, you know, more than the average UK wage for an eight hour a day job. Uh, and this was, yeah, taking about two hours a day. So from here, you have two options. You're making 3,000 pounds a month, $4,000 a month, every single month. You're chilling. You could probably maintain this because it's such low spend. You've got such a massive amount of people to reach before you're ever gonna have any problems. Your creatives, meaning the, the videos or the photos you're running as ads, aren't gonna fatigue that quickly because your spend is so low. You could kind of sit back and relax, you know, make a few ads every week, publish them, make sure that you're keeping it topped up and not really have to do much more. Or you could reinvest every single penny that you make, create a ton more ads, focus on a bunch more marketing angles, create more landing pages, do more tests and reinvest everything and try and get that to a thousand pounds a day, 10,000 pounds a day, whatever the next goal is. And that is the beauty of e-com because that is your decision and your decision only to make. If you're happy with an extra few grand a month, Obviously, it's not guaranteed. Remember that, you know, your ads could die at any point. So it is always best to just work a little bit on making more angles, making more ads, having a, a backlog ready to publish. However, if you wanted to theoretically keep it at that level, it would be very, very easy to do so as opposed to, you know, trying to get it to £10,000 a day. Very big difference. My philosophy, though, is if people are spending £300 every day on this, then I can easily get them to spend £3,000 every day on this. And then that takes us to hundred grand in revenue per month, which is actually quite exciting then at that point. And, you know, your, your margins might be 30%. That's 30 grand a month. You're living pretty well. Obviously, that's a number I just plucked out of thin air. And remember, your margins will decrease as you scale. That's just the nature of the game. But that's why the money is made when you pick the product. And that's why I only ever pick products with a very high margin. I think this one has 85 
to 87 percent something like that my other brand has 90 something percent 92 percent so yeah really really strong focus on the margins for my brands and that's why i um, go branded because they're such high margin with drop shipping obviously you got lower lower margins but lower risk branded is higher margins higher risk that's kind of way i see it so if you want to make a humble 4k a month with ecom head over to alibaba.com and find yourself a supplier uh, go ahead and order that make some ads and then launch them on facebook or the platform of your choice and then you're pretty much good to go if it doesn't work you recycle again you find a new product and so on and so forth if you do want to cut out the learning curve then there is a link in the description to message me on instagram or whatsapp and we can talk about you potentially joining the one-on-one -on -one mentorship program i work with one or two people every single month and we basically help you build a store i say we it's literally me i'll help you build a store from zero to being profitable and then um, it's guaranteed mentorship until you've made your money back until you've made profit on top and you're all happy that you're set and ready to go there's no time limit on it it's lifetime full video course a to z literally give you my whole playbook of exactly how i started this brand um, because i literally use my own playbook to start my own brands right it's just as simple as that so if you want that link is in the description otherwise Go ahead, attack this e-com thing with a bit more speed and hopefully you see massive success with it.